peppers, garlic, and onions. If you guys don't see me again in a video, that's because Rob wasn't real happy with me. And I didn't bring anything to put these in. Good job, Michelle. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Oh my gosh. Can I just dehydrate that thing? Just put it on there, just the size? Disregard that. I know what I'm going to do. Now my cat's going to help. It's going to be something I made up in my head, but it's, it's going to work. I'm a canner now and a broth maker. Oh, that's a big one. Thank God. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Why? Why did I do this to myself? I was not an English teacher. I drove the school bus. I got it like at a farm market, so it's like real garlic. I'll just tell them we're chasing away vampires. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Again, we're dehydrating again. Yes. Guess what we're doing today? Now, this is going to probably start a war in my house, this dehydrating thing today anyway, because I bought all this garlic with the intention on dehydrating it. Oh, even the bag smells. I got it like at a farm market, so it's like real garlic, not garlic from the grocery store. It's real garlic. It didn't have a UPC code on it. I thought we'd cut the garlic up together because we need to do that. I hate cutting garlic. You guys like cutting garlic? I hate it. So if I got it all done here at one shot, then I could dehydrate it and then use it later and I don't have to cut it up later. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Rob is not gonna be happy when he comes home from work today because our house is gonna stink. I'll just tell them we're chasing away vampires. I, I don't know. But I absolutely hate doing this. You know what? I know that you could put onion peels in like broth. Can you put garlic peels in broth? Should I be saving these? I'll put them over there. I don't know why God made garlic like this because just one bulb of garlic would be easier instead of, you know, you open this up and then you have garlic surprise in there. I don't know. We're just gonna keep peeling it. It's like Christmas. Gee, wonder what I'm gonna get in this package. Hmm, hmm, I could, I could smell it. Hmm, wonder what this is. Now, look at it. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Oh, it looks like I might have let that sit a little bit too long. There's a brown one. Yeah. Well, not, is it brown or purple? Oh, I've got a lot of garlic to peel. See inside there? That doesn't look like a healthy garlic to me. This is ridiculous. There's got to be an easier way to do this. I don't want that. That looks, that just looks nasty. Kaka, it's kaka. Kaka is a word. Oh, oh, uh, look at, I've got all of these to do. What was I thinking? My hands are going to smell like garlic probably too. That's a good one. What was I thinking? Hey, Michelle, it's a great idea to buy all these garlic. I'm just going to cut that off there. That might make my life easier. I don't know. Great idea, Michelle. Buy all these garlic. Let them sit for a month. And then, you know, then deal with them. Why? Why did I do this to myself? Great idea, Michelle. No, it's not. This is not a good idea. I, I wouldn't suggest doing this. Unless you want to spend your day peeling all this garlic. And then have your husband ticked off at you when he gets home because you put it in the dehydrator. <laughs> well, we'll throw some onions in there too, you know? I wonder if you can can garlic. Hmm. Oh, that's a big one. Thank God. I don't have a little one. I guess it's purple, not brown. Why does garlic turn purple? I don't really know much about garlic. I just know that I'm doing this today. This is my day. And I need to get my nails done because they're really long. So that's either going to help me or hinder me. We'll see. And I don't know if I should be saving those to go in a broth. Because I'm a canner now. And a broth maker. Well, I haven't made the broth yet. But I'm going to be a broth maker. So do I need all that stuff? I don't know. Oh good. There's another big one. Thank God. That is one elephant ear of garlic. That's a big one. Thank God. God. Oh, look, now my cat's going to help. Hey, get down. Get down. Anybody have a cat? You know the cat struggles, right? And if you heard my dog, he's behind you drinking water. I can't win. I can't win over here. Hear him? That's my dog eating now. Hopefully there's going to be some big ones in this thing. Let's just, that seemed to be easier when I cut that thing off. Come on. Oh, good. Here's another big one. 
There's a big one. Good, good, good. Another big one. We're gonna roll here. There's got to be an easier way to do this, right? Oh, there's a nice big one. He just plopped right out of there. Did you see that? He wanted out. Oh, see, look at this. Reminds me of one of those blooming onions. See, you know? blooming garlic. See how easy that came out of there? Why can't it be like that for the other ones? Yeah, I know. I'm losing some of the top of the garlic on here, but I don't really care because I I really don't. He's starting to turn purple. I wonder what that means when he starts turning purple. I got two more in here. I'm only going to cut one because I'll save the other one for I don't know what, but I'm going to save it. Quite frankly, I don't want to cut it. All right. Here goes. That, look how big that one is. That one's pretty big. Last time I did onion, Rob smelled it before he got even out of his truck. Okay, this is all I'm peeling. Oh, this is gonna be a blast. I can't wait to do this. All right, let me go get my trays. I imagine I ought to use this thing that evidently I just did carrots on it. So if you see little orange things, those are the carrots. Did I wash it? No, I didn't wash it because I'm just going to put it all back together. I wonder if I can just put these on here whole or if I have to cut them down. Can I wonder if that'll just, can I just dehydrate that thing? Just put it on there, just the size? I don't see why not. I mean, that one's a little big. Maybe we should cut that one down. You know, I'm going to be happy that I did this. There's got to be an easier way. I've now said that how we, sh we should have a counter on how many times. Ooh, there's an icky spot. How many times I should say that. There's got to be an easier way. There's got to be. Somebody leave it in the comments. How to cut garlic. Let me see. Maybe we could Google it. We'll ask the Google. How do you peel gar garlic? Learn how to say garlic first. Let's see what the Google tells me. Simply cover the bowl of garlic with the second bowl. Hold them together and shake. What? What? Metal bowls. So step one here, we're going to take our head of garlic, we're going to give it a whack on the cutting board to loosen those cloves, which we're going to toss into one of our bowls. And by the way, you can just toss everything in, including that papery skin. Put them in a bowl and shake, and then all that crap will come off of there. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We'll just keep cutting. Get the metal bowl thing. Never heard of that. Not doing that. This is crazy. Come on sawing. I did really, I really did just sharpen this knife. I really did. There we go. I wonder how long this is going to take. Maybe if I cut them smaller. Yeah, if I cut them smaller, it won't take so freaking long. All right, I'm going to go and I'm going to cut these some more. I will be back when I have my trays filled and my dog isn't growling. I've got, I've got all the garlic peeled, but I think that I need to cut some of it like in even pieces so it dehydrates better. Yeah, I need to do that because they're like this is too big compared to the smaller ones. So they need to be more uniform in size. Listen to me. They need to be more uniform in size. Yeah, that was professional me talking. Okay, well, I have some onions out there. I should go get those. Might as well just plop the onions on here too. If it's going to stink, it's going to really stink, right? I might not do this next year. I buy garlic already. Now look at there. I buy it like already. Can you hear my animals? Can you hear my cat? I buy, anyway, I buy my garlic like in a thing, in a jar. And I might continue buying it in that jar after this. All right, I'm about done cutting here. And then I'm gonna go pick some onions. Maybe I'll take you with me. Yeah, you wanna go pick some onions with me? I don't have very many. I only left a few grow. And I could put those on, on another tray and we could dehydrate the onions too. That should be a blast. All right, let's go pick some onions. Also, like, look at all that. See all this, the things? There should be something to do with the garlic peels. So I'm going to Google that before I throw these away. It's beautiful out here today. It, it really is pretty out here. I have a few onions I could pick there. That one's not very big. Some of them down here, I'll show you. They're a lot bigger. Maybe I'll just grab the bigger ones. Might as well take them all. Then I could be done with it. Because I don't think those are going to be getting any bigger. And then I can add to my onion powder. And I didn't bring anything to put these in. Good job, Michelle. All right, let's take 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 the onions in the house. Find the dog. Find the dog first. It is so pretty out here. 
Oh, look at my ornamental grass while I'm out here. Look at this. It's as big as I am. It really is. Well, I'm standing on the deck. So, it's big as I am when I'm standing on the deck. All right, let's go back in the house. Right, back to the onions. All right, now, if you guys don't see me again in a video, that's because Rob wasn't real happy with me. And he, I don't know, locked me in the garage or something with these onions and all the things. So, it's going to smell bad. I know it's going to smell bad. I know that. But do you know how good these onions are dehydrated? No joke. They, they're, they're really good. When you dehydrate them and then like grind them into powder, this is extra good. And I like these part of the onions, these part of the onions. Yep. I was not an English teacher. I drove the school bus. Yeah, that's what I did. Which, that was a fun job. I loved that job. I loved my job. Do you guys have a job that you love? Do you go to work every day thinking, I love my job? I did. I got up at 4.30 every morning. For 20 years I did that. And I just loved my job. I would go to bed early. Oh, my bedtime was early, early. I would be in bed by sometimes 6.30, 7 o'clock at night because I was exhausted. If you don't love your job, you're in the wrong job. Find another job that you would love. Pray about it. So I did. Pray about it and ask God to put you in a job that is right for you. That he wants you at. Alright, I'm going to go get my other trays and disperse. I may end up having to cut this garlic smaller. And my eyes really are watering right All now. Right. Oh boy. Oh boy, my eyes I'm, no joke. My eyes really are watering right now. We're just going to pile these on here in no specific order. I just need them to dry down enough to make powder. I know some of them are kind of big, but so is the garlic. And it's probably going to run longer than because I'm not cutting it any smaller. It's going to be this way. Oh my gosh. Can you see my eyes starting to water? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, let's cover up the onions. Woo! I only have two trays. Full. I really should cut some of that smaller. I'm not going to. But I'm going to go get some peppers. And I'm going to dehydrate some peppers too because why not? So, yeah, I'll be back and we're going to add to right. this. I made an executive decision. I'm just going to add these peppers to this tray so they don't go bad because I'm going to make Hungarian hot wax peppers in oil. I'll make a video. I'm going to make a video on how to do that using the dehydrator. It's going to be something I made up in my head, but it's, it's going to work, I promise. Let's just slice these down. This is the best slicer in the world. If you guys don't have one of these, you need, you need to have one. I'm going to link one below if I see it on Amazon or somewhere because I wish I would have had one of these years ago years and years ago because it would have made my life a lot easier aren't you glad you clicked on this video look at this I can't wait to see Rob's reaction when he gets home I need to pay attention to what I'm doing but there a well, little bit of pepper rings up here don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet oh yes I do yes yes I know I know never mind disregard that I know what I'm gonna do all right so we have peppers garlic and onions quite the combination right yeah so let's go put them over here over there on the dehydrator well, i asked my friend if there was anything that um we could do with the garlic peels and she said no feed them to my worms so we'll do that but, but listen listen to what she said when you plug those in you better run them outside to the walmart because if he thought onions were pungent he's going to freakoid with the garlic. Well, should I put them in the Walmart or should I leave them in the house? You know what? I'm going to start them in the house because, just because. When I think they're bad, I'll take them out to the Walmart. The Walmart is my husband's garage. We call it the Walmart because he's got like everything in there. Fruits and vegetables are at 135, so we're good there. And we'll just let it run until I can't stand the smell anymore, and then we'll take it to the Walmart. Rob beat us home. We went to see the baby. My daughter had a baby. There's a new baby in our life. And she is precious, sweet, cute, perfect. She's just perfect. He said it didn't smell bad. Right now, I smell barbecue sauce because I have chicken in the oven with barbecue sauce on it. I can't really smell this. Here's the peppers that I have on here. I probably could take those off because I'm going to just put those in some oil. The garlic 
it's going to need to go a while because, yeah, they're monster size pieces on here. Probably should cut those smaller, but no, I'm not going to. And then there's our onions, and I know they're not done. I'll let it run all night long, and we'll check back in in the morning. Well, it's not the next day. Listen, oh, my dog. As soon as I turn the camera on, the dog has to shake or do something. Something. But it's not the next day. It's the day after I started these. Life happened. I got sick yesterday. Just didn't feel very good. I have an earache. And you know how earaches make you dizzy? I was there. I, and I'm still there. I am still there. But the garlic is done. Rob unplugged it for me last night. I did take the peppers out and put them in some oil. And then ate them. <laughs> They're pretty good. But the garlic is all done. And let's see. What else did I do? The onions are down there. They're done too. One more. One more. Okay, one-handed. There. The onions are done. I'm going to grind those up into powder. And I'm going to grind this garlic up into powder, too. That ought to be very good. I'll have my own garlic powder to put in with my own peppers. That's a pretty cool feeling when you grow your own food. And, like, store your own food. It, that's, a, that's a nice feeling. All right. I will see you in my next video. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.